Um, my mom probably just wanted to get me out of the house, slapped a advertisement on my bed that said, we're looking for teen reporters, freelance reporters. And um, but what I went, I fell in love with the newsroom atmosphere. But actually, what really probably drew me in the most was the first freelance story that I wrote um, outside of the teen section. It was about this young girl who, uh, she was in middle school, she had a cancerous tumor in her hip. And I interviewed her, my mom had to drive me there because I was 15. <laughs> I interviewed her in the hospital um, the night before her surgery. She didn't know if she was going to wake up with her leg or without it because the doctors weren't sure if they could take out the tumor without, taking, without amputating her leg. And it was obviously a very sad situation. But I saw that from the story, a lot of good came. Her family wasn't too well off, and they were having a hard time, you know, driving. Her parents would have to either drive to the hospital or try to find a hotel to stay with her while she was getting chemo. But people started sending them gift cards. Complete strangers started sending them gift cards, financially helping them, you know, food gift certificates gas cards, um, her whole school started raising money, and it all came from this story, and it was a realization that from something really bad, you can create something good, and I, you know, from that point on, I was pretty focused on when I was going to go to school, that this is what I was going to go to school for.